Let's talk about this. Let's talk about the fact that we all know here in the United States, school teachers do not make a lot of money. I would even argue that school teachers in public schools are blue collar workers, essentially. That, that's, that's how little money that we're, that we're talking about here. Now let's contrast that with our sports players out there, whether it's NFL or NBA, et cetera. Noticeably, noticeably, athletes make a whole lot more money than teachers. And, and, and we can immediately see the irony that here we have teachers, which are doing a great and amazing thing for our children, a very important and necessary thing, and they're noticeably not paid much money to do that. Yet, it's so important. Now let's look at athletes. Is what they do important? I mean, I think some people would say, well, yeah, it's important because it, it inspires the dreams of, of the children. Yeah, but statistically speaking, the chances of most children ever becoming some kind of very successful athlete, especially as a career, it's, the odds are tremendously against them. But we make heroes out of athletes. So it's funny when people complain that we need to pay school teachers more. Well, here's the thing though, that's tax money. So it's being skimmed off of what you pay or whatever, how much you make and all that good stuff. But let's think about this. All that money that our athletes are being paid, where does that come from? Taxes necessarily, not so much. The free market is giving that money away. So they are paying for these athletes to have tens of millions of dollars. So it's funny, you can see the problem here for someone to say, school teachers need to be paid more. So, okay, so do we, do we tax you more? Do we take more money out of your paycheck to, to give them? Is that what you would want us to do? Because the other option is, it, however much money you would pay per year to, to watch a game or to buy a jersey or to buy a ticket or to buy anything sports related that ultimately goes to those, those players, you need to at least spend that much money per year donating it to school teachers instead. Now, I think if to really sort that out, it kind of puts in perspective, I think, because no one wants to do that. People want to say, teachers need to be paid more. Oh, okay, so are you, are you going to do that? Are you going to start designating that money that you would normally do to, to sports? It's funny because I read an article recently that talks about how there is a trend of school teachers quitting their jobs and doing other things instead. Like, for example, apparently they're making great real estate agents. So everything it takes to be a good teacher, why don't you become a real estate agent instead and make a lot more money? Uh, we're seeing that trend happen here. So I think that's interesting. And the irony has never been lost on me. There's a reason teachers are paid so little. It's money from, from taxes. It's not from the free market. You know, you can tell what someone values based on what they're willing to spend their money on. American culture is undeniably willing to spend so much money on entertainment, specifically sports. I mean, we've got whole television networks based on that alone. America values sports as a whole. Do they value education? Arguably, if we're looking at where our money's going and what we're spending money on, it's pretty obvious. We're, we value sports over education for our own children, like just by default. There is so much money going to athletes that we are paying, but it's yet unthinkable that we would want to just donate money the same amount of money to our schools every year. I'm not saying people don't, but I'm saying in general, most people will throw their money at athletes at entertainment. But when it comes to education, we just blame the government for not paying them enough. And again, does that mean we want to be taxed more? Your comments belong right here.